Soul Tribe. I'm Kamala Devi, and this new moon, I wanted to offer a little heart share. I wanted to just uh, impart what's been happening for me in my um, in my family life as well as my work life. In fact, like if there's a theme for this video, it's balance. You know, we're all doing this deep dance between uh, not just you know, work and family, but also, uh, you know, that's my cat, by the way. <laughs> Come here. We're also, you know, balancing, like I'm a mama, so it's like um, time with my son and our, my lovers, and perhaps you have some house projects going on, or hobbies, or community contribution. You know, one of the things that I find is that when we wake up, like the more awakened we are, the more the impulse to create tends to like branch out. Um, and so, let me see if my cat wants to say hi. Okay. <laughs> Force him to be a little star. So, then we get pulled in all these different directions. And I had a, a sweet memory. My father, when I was uh, a kid, used to say, by the way, my dad is really successful. He's written like, last time I counted it, it was like 20 books and he's a public speaker and someone who I admire a lot. And he talked about the rule of thirds. You know, he said, you know, there, there's a third of your life that you spend asleep. And it's true, you know, we go into the deep void and then a third of your life that you are working, you know, and I think he was kind of basing it off of a 40 hour work week. <laughs> but you know, if you're, you know, giving your life force energy to your career um, for a third of your life, then the other third is yours to do with it what you please. You know, and that was always uh, interesting. You know, it's fascinating to look at people and say, wow, they choose to be, you know, like fishermen or like, here's their hobby or this is you know, video game, my son spends a lot of time with video games, which I know the new generation does. Um, and, you know, my natural gravitation is to spend time with my lovers, uh, a lot of time in pleasure and play. Uh, but there's also deep time to spend with the family. My cat right now wants me to spend time with him. Um, but it's, you know, time is not so linear either. It tends to dilate when we're really enjoying ourselves. That's what Einstein used to call it, by the way, time dilation. You know, this obvious truth about how it expands and contracts and depending on our like flow states, our deep engagement with what we're doing. And so yesterday, you know, I spent a lot of time with my mother and my, my brother, who both have uh, my, like, we're going through a bit of a family crisis because my brother had a near-death experience, um, and he has been struggling with some addiction and is now um, not just uh, sober, but doctor's orders if he drinks he'll die and he knows it he like really gets like okay i have to stop and so we're in this real like crossroads this this moment in our um experience with addiction um, and it's a family like it really is a family experience um, it affects everyone i went to al-anon for a year last a uh, couple years ago and that was really an enriching personal growth experience to notice what are the dynamics between, you know, and I'm his sister, I'm not even living with him, but the people who are closest to him really are impacted. And then I really got to like self-reflecting on, on different addictions. You know, it's not just drugs or alcohol. It's like Facebook and Netflix and, you know, personal growth. And, you know, what are the things that we can't, we feel we can't live without? And then what does it mean when, you know, like, it's taking a toll on our life force energy and it's no longer enhancing because there are certain addictions like working out or healthy my, my green smoothies there's addictions that you feel like oh this is 
I, in life enhancing and they're, they're really almost healthy habits. And I'll, I'll just share this because obviously as a sex and relationship coach for now, you know, over 20 years, I often get asked, um, you know, when somebody feels like, oh, I'm thinking about sex all the time and it's something I, you know, I, I, I spend a lot of energy on and, and I wonder if it's too much, what is too much? And so I'll be asked like, what is sex addiction? And there's a lot of controversial ideas about sex addiction itself um, because we live in a schizophrenic society that's like both sex obsessed and then also repressed. And so it's hard to kind of find that line. And since we're talking about balance, <laughs> I'll share with you the criteria that I use for myself as well as for clients. Um, and it's around addiction is that which it has a negative impact on your life and or you feel compulsed, like you can't go without, so then you're not free. And, um, you know, the, the dangerous addictions are when it's, it's both those things. And there are things that we feel compulsed to sometimes that don't have a negative impact, like exercise or, you know, to sleep. <laughs> I'm not free. I need my good rest. <laughs> That's not an addiction. But, um, but when it's both those things, it can be really, you know, damaging, not only to ourselves, but to our entire ecosystem. And so I'm in the deep contemplation of you know, my family and its recovery, as well as my own, like, habits and patterns, as well as like, what am I doing that's enhancing and adding, you know, like, um, enriching my life and the life of others. And that's generally like the come from for me. It's like, if I'm going to say yes to this Tantra festival or this retreat or that, it, like, I want it to not only be enhancing to me, um, because there is such a thing as a workaholic. <laughs> we have lots of them in our culture and it tends to be the addiction that is celebrated by our culture. It's not, it's not one that's like, oh, we need to go get rehabilitated. It's more like, yay, good. You work so hard. So we want to do the work that is enriching and enhancing and not draining us and not, you know, because we're compulsed. And so I have a moderate, um, rhythm of work now. I think COVID has been a great teacher to, for me to look at, wow, how much, how much of my life force summer energy am I putting towards work? Um, and it feels like I've gotten into a better balance and I'm spending more time with family and I'm, you know, spending more time with myself. And I kind of wish I was spending more time making videos for you because it's been a little while, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, there's also like seasons and times it's it's springtime so this is a great time for creating um new projects start to take you know bloom and and a couple of the things that i'm creating right now i just want to invite you to look into um, because the newest project is the love leadership i'm launching a whole year-long mastermind and mentorship program uh for healers teachers uh you know, speakers, writers, you know, anyone who really is leading in the area of love, sex, relationship, spirituality. And so that's my ex most exciting new like creation. Um, and then additionally, I've got like, just right now coming up to really exciting, um, I'd say a festival and a symposium. We've got this Evolve Fest, which is about every aspect of relating. And I'm co-creating that with, you know, Rachel Rickers, who's been, you know, near, near and dear to my heart, like just a real deep soul sister and happy that she's pregnant and in creation, um, along with Eugene and other um, awesome festival producers. So check that out. And then I want to say, like, I want to give like kudos to Jessica Fern, who wrote the book Poly Secure. Now, there have not been so many like real breakthroughs, real um, contributions to the polyamorous field. Uh, there have been, you know, the conversation is like 
ripe and happening and we see it in the media and we we hear it and people are like really awakening to non-monogamy and as far as conscious non-monogamy and the attachment theory go this book tends to take the conversation to a whole nother level of of credibility and um and and is just an immense contribution to the field so i'm delighted to be um, on a panel with the author of Polysecure, and that's on Leveled Up Love, so check that out. And and if not, if you don't make it to the um, event, check out her book, Polysecure. It's great. If you're in conscious non-monogamy, it's worth a look. And um, lots more on my new website, because <laughs> that's been another labor of love. It's just revamping a very old and almost embarrassing old website and uh, check it out. Give me feedback because it's still a work in progress. And I'll look forward to connecting with you uh, in one of these ways or just maybe, um, you know, next full moon as we continue to like cycle and I'm committed to sharing um, through these different rituals, sharing more of my heart and I hope you resonate. Blessings. If you do, by the way, um, yeah, stay in touch. Send me a comment or share. Thank you. <laughs>